Yes. Okay, we're Team Bro, Ben, Olivia, Ronnie, and this is our music player. You can see we have a nice picture of Hooper Tower to the left of the screen. Um, so the first thing we'd like to show you uh, is really the heart of our music player, which is a feature called the D-pad, or control pad. So as you can see, it has different functionality. So we're only limited to five buttons, and we have a whole bunch of features. So we want to change the functionality of each button depending on what you want to change, the display, or the audio, or whatever you want to change. So the center button here goes through each of the control states. So this is audio one, audio two. Uh, the, that, the blue state changes the size of the waveform. Um, this is our harmonic, so you can change the weighting of the harmonics. Um, and lastly, this is the background. You can change the background. So if I wanted a blue background or a red background, um, with a green, you can change the background as well. So if you go back to the audio state, we'll be able to talk about our audio features. Alright, so now, we've got Star Wars going. Uh, here are the waveforms that you can see. And what you can do, if you click the bottom button, you can actually add dynamics to it. There you can see they have the amplitude and change. But if you don't like dynamics, you can turn it off. Yeah, yeah, so then as you're playing, you're like, nah, 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 that's a good pen. Future note on there? Uh, no. <laughs> so right now we're in, as you can see, this is blue. So we're in the uh, waveform, adjustable waveform state. So so left and right changes the uh, how large in the x direction you want your waveform to be. So sorry. To if I want to see multiple, or I can change our uh, field of view as well. So if I want to just see a single uh, sine sort of wave, or if I want to see multiple ones. Also, if I want to see uh, each one of the different waves that make up the chord, that is toggled by the up and down controls uh, in the state. So, but that's fine. so if I want to look at the first note, the second note, all of the notes, um, I can do that as well. And that is adjustable wave on Sound balls going backwards? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Let's do Star Wars. That's what I can so it's not really a rewind feature, it's more of a reverse feature. Uh -huh. Also play music while you're at home. So 
Now you can change the song while you're playing Oops. Pong as well. Oh. <laughs> um, we also added a score display, so the score goes up to 16, um, and it'll tell you at the, it'll reset the whole Pong game once, uh, once you reach 16. And depending on where you hit the long path, it bounces in different ways, so it gives you a random. We also have a sort of pseudo random generator to start it up in different direction. So we also have a computer AI, so we can play against. Uh, it's actually pretty good. You can win. You can win. Uh, I can't win, but or someone else can win. Yeah. So to exit Pong, you have to uh, hit the Konami code again. So. That's if you played the original Pong. I, I did, yeah. Okay, so now you <laughs> have the original Pong, you can start again again, so you never lose. We have that feature too. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, do you have any questions? Uh, I guess we went over a background. If you don't like black, you can have a nice red gradient. So, so what was the most difficult thing to implement? And what was the division of effort between the three of you? How did you work that out? Uh, we just kind of split up so interface, audio, and audio. But in the end, we were all working. Yeah. Debugging. So what was the breakup? Who did interface? I was working. Interface, and you were audio, and you were split. Okay. Yeah. That's a nice job. Yeah. Uh, that's a reason. Yeah. Any other questions? Good play around. Or if you want to play ball. How are we doing? <laughs> oh, we're actually almost at the table. Congratulations.